be like water. That is the philosophy of the legend Bruce Lee himself. Be formless, be shapeless, be water. Well, that is how Max Crosby plays football. Most pass rushers have a main go-to move, maybe a counter off of that, but not him. His approach is formless, shapeless, whatever the offensive lineman does, Mad Max has a counter for every situation that he can use at any moment. It all makes sense and comes alive when we break it down on film. But before we do, I want to thank this week's sponsor, Raycon. Raycon Everyday Earbuds have changed the game. They look good, they feel good, they fit good, and they sound better than any earbud I have ever owned. Seriously, these sound really, really good and have a surprising level of good bass for such a small product. They have this awesome stereo sound and passive noise isolation function. I'm in my own world when I have them on and I can totally just zone out. Or you can put them in awareness mode and stay safe while going for a run, exercising, staying out of trouble in general. One of these modes is good for any situation, Raycon has got you covered. They are surprisingly durable too. I always drop them in the weirdest spots with dirt, water, like anywhere you can think of, but they haven't broke at all. School is back in session, which means Raycon is having their annual back to school sale. For a limited time only, get 20% off site-wide plus free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Rollins. Whatever Max wants to do off the edge, he can. According to NFL Next Gen Stats, his 82 pressures in 2021 were the most they'd ever recorded, and he followed that up this season with 81. His deep, varied toolbox consists of speed to power, a bull rush, a stab to swipe, which he calls voodoo, and a spin move that is deadly. We'll get into what all of those are and what they mean later in the episode. The most important thing about having an extensive toolbox is knowing when to use each move, which is where his be like water philosophy shines brightest. He likes to start games with straight power, aka a bull rush, where he's going to set his tracks straight at Andrew Wiley to try and power him backwards. He's so strong and has so many different moves, when he starts the game with power to let Wiley know he's coming, everything else then works off of that. This sets Wiley up for the next play, where Max is like water. What's critical to his strategy working is to be able to use any of his moves within the down. When he feels Wiley jumping outside quickly, overextending himself to cut off that power bull rush, that's when Max goes back inside. Wiley's thinking, okay, if I smack him first, that'll neutralize his power, so I'll quickly cut off his angle outside, hit him quick, and then he won't be able to gather up his strength. Well, that is when he counters. Wiley's going outside and punching first, let's go back inside and counter his hands. There are two things I want you guys to focus on when it comes to his technique, his head and his hands. He is really good at using his head to influence linemen. That's definitely one thing that sets him apart from other pass rushers. He is able to show Wiley he's coming forward at him with his head, so it really sells it and that makes Wiley bite. Then with his hands, his ability to connect in the right spot is elite, where he's consistently hitting the weaker points of the tackle's arms almost every time, the wrist and elbow, and knocking their arms down to where they're basically punching air. So later in the game, now Wiley is sitting on the spin, because he got downright embarrassed going back inside, so Crosby is able to go back to his bull rush and pick up another sack. You can see Wiley is super heavy on his feet and further inside. He's trying to make sure he protects that inside from last time. He's going to take that left arm and try and hook it around Crosby's ribs to make sure he feels the spin back inside so he can counter. But Crosby comes at him all bull in a china shop, and because that left arm is waiting for the spin, his pads are open for business. We just talked about Crosby's head movement. Well, check how he throws it outside here, like he's about to take the edge, or like he's going to jam his foot into the ground and spin back inside. This opens up Wiley's pads just a little bit more, and Max finishes the play. He's really good at setting up defenders not just during the play, like with his head, but throughout a game with different moves. Against Seattle, his game plan was to start Abraham Lucas off with speed to power. Speed to power just means you're starting with a speed move to beat him around the edge to get the tackle to overextend. Then when he does, you hit him with power to knock him back when he's off balance. But 
Crosby realized it wasn't really working. Lucas was kicking outside super quick and absorbing his power move, so Max wasn't getting what he wanted. Well, way of the water, he adjusted. Usually, he starts aligned out super, super wide a couple yards away from the tackle. This is to give himself lots of freedom to use all of his different moves whenever he wants. But when he feels Lucas keep kicking out quickly and waiting on speed, he decides to tighten his alignment so he can't kick out so far. Now you can see him quite a bit closer. This is to throw off Lucas's game plan of widening outside, and so that Crosby can start to use his voodoo stab and swipe. Both of them are trying to throw their punch second so they can counter the other. Crosby is right up in his grill, but he's still keeping his hands low. So Max gives him this fake stab to make him throw his hands first so Crosby can then counter. You can see Max is so good at getting his hands exactly where they need to be. The right one is smack dab on Lucas's wrist, but then his outside arm is what's most important. If you can smash that outside elbow and force the arms back inside, you have a clean edge and nobody there but the quarterback. Once he identified Lucas's game plan, he just started torching him with voodoo. Lucas had one game plan, Crosby figured it out, slid right off of it, and now had his own game plan to beat Lucas every time. Here Lucas is trying to get on him quicker, he's not going to wait for Crosby to draw out his arms, he's going to kind of slow play this and then boom, hit him quickly. He's hoping to catch Crosby in the fake stab part of his move like he used last time, but Max is like water, abandons the stab and just immediately goes to the swipe and gets it clean. Once again, like we talked about, his hand technique is perfect, where he's able to hit the elbow which completely deadens the arm and gives him that corner. Now Lucas doesn't know what the hell is going to happen. Crosby can use any of his moves at any time. He can adjust within the down. It is a mind game that he cannot win. With a super tightened alignment again, Crosby just uses the swipe move, makes Lucas completely whiff, and picks up half a sack. What I like on this rep is the intensity with which he starts at Lucas to get him to shoot his hands so he can counter them. This looks like he's coming dead at him 100 miles an hour, no mercy but he's really setting up the swipe outside and then can bend around the edge and finish. And then, of course, Crosby really has him back on his heels. Lucas has no idea what's coming, so Max goes back to old speed to power, obliterates, I mean obliterates this man, and nearly strips the ball away. This one is really cool, because Crosby actually uses his mind to influence what he's going to do in the play. When the Raiders show a five-man front, Gabe Jackson taps his helmet, which indicates they're using a 5-0 protection, which means man-blocking one-on-one. Crosby knows teams love to chip him with running backs and tight ends, so DJ Dallas is probably going to help on him, but when he sees the 5-0 call, he knows he can still attack toward that edge with speed to power, because Lucas is all alone. Then, after all that, Lucas now has like 10 different things he needs to account for. He's got to be inside, outside, fast, but strong. So Max just blows by him with straight speed and turns Gino horizontal. One of his biggest strengths is his film study, like we saw with him reading the right guard pre-snap. If you watch him closely, he just knows what's coming before it even happens. He'll switch up his footwork to fly off the ball of field. And when he gets in this sprinter stance, you know he knows what's coming. He jets upfield to blow up the play. Another thing I love about his game is how he defends against the play-action slide, which is one of the most difficult concepts to stop on game day. Play-action slide is a fake to one side with a tight end or receiver coming back the other way to the flat. Brutal to defend because you need to flow hard play side to attack the run. Each of these guys is responsible for a gap, so they need to fly horizontal upfield to make sure there are no creases but then the offense slides a receiver across who's wide open. It's extremely difficult to guard him in man coverage all the way across the field. This is just a play that teams hit on wide open all the time, and it's even more difficult for Crosby who's completely unblocked because that tight end coming across could smash into him on split zone if this was an actual run. But I strongly advise your team to not run play action slides at Max Crosby, or actually to try any of the looks that teams use off of it, because he knows how to study tendencies. He has poured over game film and identified that when the Steelers' tight end is on the line of scrimmage, he's blocking to that side. But if they put a tight end off the line of scrimmage, he's coming across, and they're sending jet motion towards the side of the run, whether it's a fake or not. When he picks up on the body language of the offensive line, his instincts take over. And when he knows Fryermuth is coming down the line to block him pre-snap, he knows he just has to beat him, 
knows he can shift his focus solely to the QB running back exchange and just reads it out from there. Max Crosby is an absolute difference maker in every sense of the word. He is a complete defensive end where he can make big time stops in the run game, rush the passer at an elite level, study and know the opposing offense like the back of his hand, and adjust his game like water. When an opponent at any position doesn't have one defined strategy, it makes him extremely difficult to prepare for and to defeat. However, at the same time, each of your attacks has to be lethal, and Crosby's entire arsenal is lethal across the board. He is still ascending as a player, and yet he is already incredibly dominant. The future is bright and getting brighter for Max Crosby, because he will and can do anything to win. Wow.